Luis Smolka versus Jose Alberto Quinones. Uh, Smolka is sitting at 16, 7, and 0. Jose is sitting at 8, and 4, and 0. Um, this is another prelim fight. Now we look at the odds right now. They're sitting at minus 135 for Smolka as the slight favorite and uh, plus 115 for Quinones uh, as the underdog. Um, now both of these guys lost their last fight. Uh, they both also won the fight previous to that, and they both also lost the fight previous to that fight. Um, and the funny part is they both won both the fights after that. So they've had a very similar record. You know, Smolka's ranked uh, number 39 bantamweight worldwide, and uh, Jose Alberto Quinones is sitting at number 36. So they're only like three spots apart from each other, uh, which tells me that this is going to be a fairly close fight as the odds are slightly um, in Smolka's favor, I don't believe that necessarily he has the better chance of winning. Um, we know that he has had issues in the past. At the same time, he has looked kind of decent recently. And, uh, you know, he was sort of removed from the UFC and then came back. The very important part. So recently he lost to Casey Kenyon. I mean, Casey himself has looked pretty decent. Before that, he beat Ryan McDonald. Uh, Ryan McDonald is okay. Um, Matt Schnell, he lost to Matt Schnell. And uh, uh, I can't say that uh, Matt Schnell is exactly uh, the best fighter. But he did lose by triangle choke. Um so that's something to consider. But the funny thing is he beat Sue Mudajeri. And recently we saw Sue come out and Sue played some fancy game last week. So, uh, you know, he's beat some good opponents, but he's also lost to some slightly, uh, I don't know, not average, but slightly underappreciated opponents, I could say. Now, we got to remember that this fight was set up a few weeks ago, except Smolka couldn't make the weight or was sick uh, or both for all I know. Um, and now, you know, this is two or three weeks later, we're going about having the same fight. A lot of people aren't sure how this is going to affect Smolka because he would have had to cut weight twice. Um, but, you know, at the same time, wouldn't Quinones would have to do the same. So I don't understand uh, the logic there, but maybe I'm just missing something um, as far as that goes. And I mean, Quinones, he recently lost to Sean O'Malley, right? Uh, and I, I could see him most likely winning this by decision. I have never really been overly impressed with Quinones, although he looks like he has a lot of potential all the time. I don't know why his fights just seem lackluster to me. Maybe I'm the only one, but if you guys feel the same way, comment down below. Uh, just let me know what you guys think about uh, the way Quinones fights. Because I feel like this guy, um, you know, I think we actually saw him come up at the same time as Marlon Vera as well. Um, and Benitez, weren't they all on the Ultimate Fighter, uh, I believe, together? So keeping that in mind, like... Uh, I always thought Quinones would elevate just as Marlon Chido Vera did, and he seemed to just be, uh, I guess, plateaued or stale. Like, his fights are all uh, just lackluster in my mind. So, that being said, I mean, you go back and forth between Smolka's weight cut issue and his past experience in the UFC not being so great, then coming back, and I guess... Uh, doing decent he's not doing horrible he's been consistent as far as the amount of fights he's had so you can keep that into consideration but here a lot of people i would say are probably on smolka as the slight favorite um in this case though i'm gonna give it to quinones i'm gonna give him the shot uh i think he has what it takes to beat smolka and i think if he plays a smart game he can get it done but this is no bet for me. Uh, I wouldn't bet on this. It's just too many variables and uh, it's too close to call in my opinion. I don't have a decent read on this, so maybe that's why I'm kind of hesitant. But if you have a really good read and you think uh, Smolka is going to win or Quinones is, is going to win, then by all means, uh, make your bet. But for me, I don't think I would bet this fight. Mm -hmm.